wow let's just say last week for rory mcelroy was not his finest hour now mark bob and i both had rory on our picks team last week clearly that didn't go very well what did you make of rory's week mark um i'm surprised he missed the cut so i'm not suggesting that that wasn't a big a surprise how wide he was but then again, there were huge names that weren't even in the picture this week. You know, Bryson DeChambeau didn't make the cut either. There, there were a lot of great players that had rough Thursdays and Fridays, didn't make it to the weekend. That being said, Rory was not on my radar this week to contend or, or play well in this championship. And I've kind of made a decision with Rory similar to the decision I've made with Scotty Scheffler. If Scotty Scheffler's playing golf that week and he's putting a ball on the ground, and so, it's, it, it, unless something severely changes in the next six months scotty scheffler's on my team if you're asking me for three picks one of them scotty scheffler i'm looking for two more people i've come to the same conclusion guys with rory until rory makes a major change of some kind now that could be a caddy change coaching change full time with butch i mean i don't know something along those lines a major change to signify to me that he is no longer going to be stubborn rory and no longer planning on doing this the same way he's been doing it for a de decade unsuccessfully, then Rory is off my team Ooh. as much as Scotty is on my team. Wow. Bob, what do you think of those comments from Mark? And what did you think of Rory's week last week? Well, for anything from Mark, not, there's never a surprise from Mark. But <laughs> it's, a strong -willed, it's a strong willed comment. And there's some, there's definitely merit to what, what he's saying. Um, I'm a little less, um, a little less harsh or strong on that. I don't know if he has to make any personnel changes. I, I think uh, his caddy gets a bit of a bum rap. I think his team does. I could see maybe a coaching change just for the sake of change. Um, but again, you know, he's he won twice this year already. He did win a couple of tournaments already. He's had a bunch of top tens, not major championships for sure. We know that. He did come close at the U.S. Open. Um, I don't know. You know, I think, I think what Roy really needs to do is to kind of go – get away from golf, put the clubs in the closet, go away, sit on a beach somewhere, uh, read a book. Uh, I don't know. Just, just get away from everything because I think there's a lot going on in his head and a lot of going on off the golf course in his personal life that we, uh, at least we assume. So I think Rory just needs to take a step back and, and kind of relax and take a deep sigh and, and regroup for the next year. Well, interesting. You mentioned that Bob, because Rory said after his second round, after missing the cut by a million, that after he made triple bogey in a second round, his mind was already going to where he was going to take his vacation. Mark, what did you think of what Rory had to say there? Basically mailing it in mid tournament. So let me clarify my statement. When I said Rory is off my team, I'm talking four four weeks a year for the majors. Rory will be on my team when it doesn't affect his legacy and he doesn't care because he plays his best <laughs> golf when it doesn't matter. And I expect him to likely win another FedEx Cup uh, playoff uh, event and, and maybe even a FedEx Cup championship. But I'm with you. And I don't know if you guys recall something I said after this year's Masters. And you guys thought I was absolutely insane saying it. But I said, Rory might want to consider skipping the 2025 Masters because I truly believe, I said that when we left Augusta earlier this year, and I said it because I truly believe Rory McIlroy would rather be elsewhere. I don't think he wants to be there. I feel like it's the opposite energy of, say, a Justin Rose uh, this week who wants this championship so bad, did everything in his power to be there, fought through qualification because he feels he still has this in him at age 43. I think Rory would rather be on the beaches of Majorca with his feet up or in the Greek islands with his wife or in Tuscany getting ready for harvest season this October and then be pegging it up in a major golf championship and no more so than the Ma Masters is probably the biggest one. So the reason I said he should skip the Masters I think Rory needs to go find the eye of the tiger. He wants, he needs to find that little voice in his head that says, what am I doing here at home? Why am I not there competing? You got to want it. You can't hate it. I really feel he hates it right now. It's a fascinating time to be Rory McIlroy, that's for sure. But we're around 260 days until the Masters. Whether Rory McIlroy does play or not, we'll be talking about Rory a lot for the next many, many months right here on the show.